Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a demo for a game called EXP War Trauma. No idea really what it's about. I think the long and short of it though is basically it's a veteran home from the war and they're experiencing some trauma, if you will. So yeah, without any further fucking preamble from me, why don't we just jump right into this experience and see what it has to offer. I just like showcasing these Unreal 5 games. Experience Corporation. Welcome to the experience. We'll be starting you in a few minutes, putting you in the shoes of Krieger, a German soldier who participated in World War II. Before continuing, pay attention to the following instructions. Okay, so these are your basic controls. The experience is emulated via software through DNA extracted from the human remains of the chosen individual and implemented into the hardware module. The patient's DNA is also extracted to generate compatibility. So I might have fucking Animus. This is like fucking... Abstergo or some shit. This version of the software is unable to and may present unstable and may present defects and conflicts resulting in a mixture of information. Any possible mental damage to the patient is the responsibility of the patient after agreeing below. Okay. Sure. Let's initialize our traumatic experience. By the way, whatever you do, if you're a coffee drinker, do not buy the Delight Cinnabon coffee creamer. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, we are in. Okay. Go up. Can I go up? Oh god, that's dark. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just kind of like showing off these uh, upcoming Unreal 5 games because I really uh, I'm kind of enamored with the engine at the moment. That might wear off. It might just be, you know, something that uh, it seems, you know, better than it actually is, but I don't know. I know not what with what weapons World War Three will be fought, but World War Four will, will be fought with sticks and stones. Albert Einstein. All right, Albert. Well, where are we at? We at home? We at our home? I'm very. The door is open. Uh huh. This door? Someone in my house? Hello. Okay, well that one won't open, so... Yes, the door is indeed open. Let's close it. What a nice photo you have here. Is this your family? Can I interact with the television? I cannot. Okay, so there's no, like, physics-based uh, stuff. You just aim and interact. Which is fine, you know. Whatever. Sometimes it makes it easier because sometimes I can't fucking. I, uh. Oh! Yes, I shall take an F to flashlight. Military service is a risk factor for developing PTSD. It is indeed, yes. Around 78% of people exposed to combat do not develop PTSD. In about 25% of military personnel who develop PTSD, its appearance is delayed. My character is blinking, okay. Krieger's blinking. This person looks like they have PTSD. I am blink blonking though. Anything in my cabinets? Nothing. Is it just one of those things where you can just open shit? Okay. Well. That one's closed. Alright. I'm no longer locked in here. Oh. Was this here? Are we sundowning? Oh. I can open this window for some reason. From afar. Click, click. About to say the flashlight didn't help much, but... Thanks for turning the lights on. Oh. Okay, I guess I can go up into the... Abyss now, even though... God damn, it still doesn't help. What kind of flashlight is this? It sucks. Back down into the stone corridor. A rope. A chair. That never. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. John Steinbeck. I don't know, John. Let's just... We can all agree that war sucks, right? It, uh... Hello? I blink. And it's weird. There's a... What the fuck? 
of those dung beetles. What's going on in here? There's a hole in my floor. Hello? Some kind of beetle ritual summoning the beetle. PTSD symptoms may result when a traumatic event causes an overreactive adrenaline response, which creates deep neurological patterns in the brain. These patterns can persist long after the event that triggered the fear, uh -huh. making an individual hyper-responsive to future fearful situations. Okay. Still can't open this door. You summon summoning the, 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 the god of beetles. Oh boy. There's a hole in your head. Oh. Well, there's a hole in the floor too. Oh. Okay. Uh Krieger, oh. you have no Jesus. idea what's going to happen to her. This way it'll be quick. Arnold? The fuck? Jesus. Hello. Oh god. Oh. Things are happening. Hello? Is that a baby? Hello? What is it with the women crying? Jeez. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh god. Hello? I hear you crying. I don't know what to do to help you. I'm sorry. I, I don't... I, I, I guess Krieger is... Oh. Feeling a little remorseful for his time in the... War. He should be feeling that way, I guess. But in peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their son. Kiddodosis. Well, oh boy, we blink blonkin. And the chairs are rocking. Still can't open that door. Ooh, the plane. During traumatic experiences, the high levels of stress hormones secreted suppress hypothalamic activity that may be a major factor towards the development of PTSD. Okay. The hole has gotten bigger. Anything in my drawers now? Dishes are getting mighty dirty. And I screamed, and I screamed, and I screamed, but all he did was keep shooting her! Krieger, you sound awfully fucking American. Jesus. Uh, hi! Okay. Uh, can I see anything in the hole here? Nay. Cannot. Well. Hello. Can I open this window? Hello? Anybody out there? Buddy at all. I will say I have zero idea what it's like to deal with PTSD. I don't know if this is like an accurate representation of that. Okay, can't open you. But so far, what? I got X-rayed. So far, I mean, it's kind of creepy. If nothing else. This would, uh, this would not be fun to experience, I'd wager. Oh. Ah. Knock, knock. Oh, God. Hi. Just sitting in your rocking chair. Enjoying the view. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so kindly for opening the door for me. And back out into the hallway we go. I'm just going to keep going to the same door. Because uh, there's nothing upstairs for me, really. Alright. Let's see what... Only the dead have seen the end of war. Plato. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> for as long as man inhabits the planet, there will always be war. 
Only those who have passed shall never see it again. Oh, again. Hello? Hello? I uh, just want to get into my house. You open the window here. So far, this isn't like the. Oh god, what the fuck is that noise? Uh, neighbor? Yeah, this isn't the craziest looking Unreal 5 game that I've seen so far. But it's, there's also like a bit of a filter over it. What do I do? Hello? Knock, knock. This is my house. Yes. Oh, okay. What the? Is that what happens? PTSD makes you see the faces and shit. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck is that noise? Dopamine levels in a person with PTSD is it you? can contribute to symptoms. Low levels can contribute to anhedonia, apathy. Impaired attention oh, that noise. and motor deficits. High levels can contribute to psychosis, agitation, and restlessness. Okay. Can that induce fucking hallucinations? Instructions for using the refrigerator. Pieces of bodies that are still fresh should be kept inside the refrigerator for later use. In the case of parts such as eyes and other more viscous parts, they should be placed in pots with the liquid. If it starts to emanate smell, remove the part and throw it away in sector five. What? Oh, that that little oh oh shit. Yeah, that subtle little growling noise is fucked up. And there is a but I picked up a jar of eyes. Ugh. Uh, oh, there's little baby mice. What the fuck? Oh, God. Do I, do I collect the eyes? <laughs> I don't know. No. I'm putting you in your jars. Do I, oh, am I on the time? Oh, God. A frame? Is that what this fucking shit is clicking at me? Wait. I don't know what happened. I don't like the squelching nasty. It sounds like fucking the stomach after some Taco Bell. That's a dead mouse. Can I pick you up, Mr. Big Eyeball? No, I can't. Okay. I'm looking for more eyes. Okay. I've got eyeballs to collect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. Oh, we're running out of time, boys. Okay. Okay. I, uh... Oh god, I don't know if I collected all the eyeballs. I can't get out. I can't get out. Jesus Christ. Do you have any eyeballs in your house? I can't click. Oh. Yes. Prepare for the scare. Prepare for the scare. Oh! Oh! I didn't notice that the first fucking time. It's just a fucking head peeking at me. Alright. Be picking up eyeballs. Gimme. I need your eyeballs. Gather around, everybody. Oh! How dare you shut the door on me? Is there an eyeball here? Eyeball? Eyeball? Eyeballs in the trash. Oh, there's an eyeball. Eyeball in the pizza box. Good lord. Fucking eyeballs everywhere. There's another one. Uh. I collected the eyeballs. Can't open this door. I don't like that sound. Okay. Well, hey, would you like... Oh, hi. Hello there. Creepy. 
I, uh, I got some eyes. Batty wants some eyeballs? No? Alright. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, dude. There's not much time. I keep saying that. I don't know what, what the point of that is. I've got a, a, a We've already seen this, John. Alright. Oh! The, uh, Eyeball monster he is uh, making sounds. Hello, oh boy! My furniture is all. Hello, I hear something moving under there. Oh Jesus! What should I do? Okay. The bridge is full of eyeballs. Human meat. Human meat. <laughs> Just reminds me of fucking Frank from Always Sunny. That which your taste buds have just savored. That was human meat. <laughs> what the fuck? Here, would you like a uh, would you like a teddy? No, you fucking idiot! It wasn't supposed to do this! You fucked everything up! Look at the shit you did! Fuck! Now he's coming for you! Oh no! Sound like your microphone's peeking there a little bit, buddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? He didn't want a teddy? Oh boy. What, what, what should I do? Blowing out my candles? Should I blow out the candles? I would not. No one's. No one's home. Open the fucking door, Krieger. No, there's no one here. Krieger's not here. Don't I? Do I sound like Krieger? No, I don't sound like a Krieger. I don't know who you, you you're referring to because you're very German and I'm very obviously not. Oh boy. Open this fucking door, Krieger. You keep fucking blowing my candles out, pal. Why do you want in so badly? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Shit. I think there's someone inside. I hear squelching. It's so hard to see though. Hello? Hey, uh. Ugh, enjoy that teddy bear. I got it just for you. Buddy? Okay. Kind of nerve wracking. But, you know. Oh, okay. Why would I... <laughs> why would I subject myself? They better be paying me handsomely to stick my fucking... my psyche inside of this fucking experience. Nothing cool happens. Like, I don't learn how to fucking jump off of a fucking 200-foot tower into a bale of hay. You know, I don't learn any cool martial arts or anything like that. Hello? You? No? I don't get a, a sweet blade hidden up my sleeve. Hello? It's very squeaky right here. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What the... Fuck. Uh, okay. Alright, we go back down. Jesus fuck. Okay. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Bertrand Russell. Fuck. Oh. Is it lightning? What is that behind you? Oh, don't say that. Oh, you motherfucker. Fuck you. The, you took your sweet ass time, you fuck. Oh, god damn. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Ah. Yes, of course. Oh my god, what the fuck? My flashlight is not fucking illuminating what's I was already bored. on this. Time to kill you. What? No! What is it? Here, would you like... Oh, would you like a toy? Oh god, the shit's clicking again. No, 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 no. No. Excuse me, sir. Oh, thank you for letting me in. Fuck. 
Different part of the different part of the the house, huh? There's nothing here. Oh god, in heaven, help me. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Ooh. One of the worst things I witnessed in the war was when we had to take prisoners to that psychopathic doctor. We had to go into his room where he was experimenting with humans. He opened that sick damn refrigerator in front of us. The smell was unbearable, full of human parts inside. Jars full of pickled eyes. Certainly one of my biggest traumas. I'd rather not even remember the people that were there lying on the tables. I can't bear to talk about it. I almost left back so I wouldn't vomit right then and there. Okay. You left the door open. I did not. <laughs> Goddamn fucking Christ. I hate this fucking shit. I didn't leave the door open, you fucking asshole. I closed it. I fucking remember doing it. Fuck you. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is fucked up. Okay, <laughs> this is fucked up. Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, there's nothing there's nothing here for me, okay? Can I open the window and escape that way? No? Holy shit, game. Stop, please. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you, you've had better days. I... I can't... Nope. I'm, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Fuck this. What's over here? No, still can't. Okay, we going. We going. Fuck, man. I don't want to be in here anymore. I don't want to do this. This is a whole fucking game, basically. Holy shit. My hot, my little poor ticker cannot handle this shit. Is that the... It's not the end of the demo. Well, of course it's, of course it's not. Why would, why would it be? Fuck. Hi, buddy. What the actual shit? Dude, no, 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 no. There you go. Oh my fucking Jesus God. Help. Help me. No! Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. This game is fucked up. Holy shit. Alright, I'm coming for you. Uh, okay. I got phasmoed. He tickled my eyes. This has not been fun for me. I have, uh... Buddy, I don't know what to do for you, pal. I, I, I can't help you. Well, uh, well I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't help you. I can't. Please, let me out. Oh, Jesus, fuck. This is not cool. It's going to fucking kill me anyway. What am I supposed to do? Please. Let me the fuck out of here. Oh boy. <sighs> Interesting. That was generally upsetting. <laughs> actually, it actually got me there. I, I wasn't sure how it was going to go there toward the, uh, you know, toward the beginning, but pretty fucking scary. Yeah, the voice acting was actually good, too. You know, the voice acting was good, so I appreciate that. I'm curious, since this is, like, experiential, you know, like they're dropping you basically into... <laughs> okay. Well, you can go to Steam and wishlist it, and uh, I guess you have, like, an, an option here to, to go and help them with, like, a Kickstarter, maybe, like, a GoFundMe. Something like that. If this seems interesting to you, maybe go check that out. I'll click on it and see where it brings me um, here in a second. But yeah, uh, I'm curious to see if this is just one of many experiences that they're planning on fucking, you know, putting into the game. Interesting concept, interesting idea. I don't know. It got me fucking more than once. So uh, looking forward to the to the to the full release. Well, definitely play it on the channel, and I think that was. That was long enough for, you know, that was long enough for a little, uh, for a little sh short, sweet video just to kind of show off the, uh, show off the game, the demo. So anyhow, that was EXP War Trauma. You can check out the demo on Steam. 
uh, you can wish list it from there and uh, just you know follow the project see what uh, see what kind of progress they make and see whenever it's actually going to release I'm not exactly sure so anyhow thank you for stopping by I hope you enjoy the video if you did why not leave a like subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss more of these kinds of things that I do from from time to time um, so yeah that's all from me you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one all right bye bye